Welcome back to the video. I'm your tech guy Wayne and today I want to show you how to install a memory card on your Moto G 5G 2025. In the box of your phone you'll find a SIM card tool. It looks something like this. We're going to use this to pop out the SIM card. The SIM tray is on the left side of the phone. You'll insert it into the little hole and just give it one good push. And you'll see your tray come out. And let's just pull it out there. Your phone SIM card will go there. And then here we'll insert our card. It should fit plus. You should be able to turn it over and not fall out. And that was probably the fastest install I've ever done. And we'll just slide it back in. Now, don't force it. If it doesn't fit, looks like I need to give it a stronger press just to make sure it's really in there. All right, let's try it again. Memory card should be face up. And there we go. All right, card is in. Now, one quick note, um, please, please, please do not use cheap off-brand memory cards. Um, I've had memory cards just literally just stop working out of nowhere and you lose all your data. It's so frustrating. So here I'm going to link to some memory card recommendations. Stick to the name brands, Samsung, PNY, uh, SanDisk, uh, even Seagate. Um, stick to name brands because the off brands, the card might be a little bit cheaper, but then it could just stop working out of nowhere and you lose all your information. All right. So. Once you install the card, the next thing you want to do is swipe down from the top of the screen and you should see a pop up. Here it says Samsung SD card. This is the phone telling you that it's reading and it has recognized the memory card. If you don't see this pop up, it might be that the phone is not reading your memory card. So check for that first. That's super important. Next, we're going to swipe up and go to the settings because I want you to be able to see how much storage you have on the card. So we're going to go to the storage section and where it says this device, if you tap here, switch it and tap on Samsung SD card or for you just tap on SD card. And here we can see the size of the card. So 120 gig card and 71 gigs are already used up. So 128 minus 71, we have 56 or 57 gigs left that we can use to save files. Um, you also have some options here. If you go to free of space, this will help you to go through the files and delete, see what, what's taking up the most space. Um, you can also enable the storage manager and this will allow you to manage the storage using the phone settings. So again, main reason we came here is I want you to be able to track how much card data you have total and how much is being used. It's always good to be able to just go and check to see. Sometimes you'll see your card is full and that's how you'll be able to check. Okay, next hit the home button. We're gonna to go to the camera and you'll wanna change your camera settings. Now the first time you go into the camera after installing the card, it will ask you, there's an SD card available. Do you want to store your photos and videos on that card? Hit sure. Once you do this, it's gonna start saving all the pictures to your memory card, which is what you want. You wanna keep your phone storage freed up for your apps and your important files and have your photos and videos go to the card. So that pop up, you hit sure, and now the phone is going to save them just to your card. Now, hit the home button. Let's go to the Google Photos app. And so this is the main screen or well, actually this is the main screen so photos go to collections and go to on this device and here you'll see all your different uh folders so this folder here is going to be your memory card folder and the way you know that is when you tap into it you'll see a little memory card in the upper right corner if we go to this folder you won't see that memory card icon so this is the folder that basically is showing you all the files that are on the memory card and it'll show you all the new files that you've all the new pictures you've taken 
and basically it'll show you that they're being saved to the card. So these are all the pictures that are saved on the internal storage of the phone. All right, let's hit the home button. And so guys, that's pretty much it. That's how you install the card. That's how you check your storage. That's how you change your camera settings so that all your pictures are gonna be saved to the memory card. And finally, that's how you go into your photos app and how you basically see where your photos are gonna be saved now. If you got value out of this video, make sure you bump that like button down below. I'll leave a link in the description as well with some great memory card deals. Make sure that you use, again, quality brand so you don't have to worry about the cards all of a sudden stopping out of nowhere. Also here, I'll link to my playlist with my other videos on the Moto G 5G. Check out that playlist and check out another really helpful video right here as well. Thanks again for watching. Take care and as always, have a good one.